Tuesday, November 28th is Giving Tuesday, a day designed to inspire donors to take action by giving back to charities and causes they support. Tuesday, Rutland Regional Medical Center hopes you'll consider pitching in to bring the latest 3D breast imaging technology to the region. So 3D mammography is a technique of imaging the breast that's different from the conventional mammograms. Uh, with a conventional mammogram, you get two views of the breast compressed in two different directions and everything is kind of blended together in one image. In uh, 3D mammography, they basically we can make images through the breast at different levels. So it's sort of like a loaf of bread that now you've made into slices. And, uh, or you may be familiar with the concept of a CAT scan. So a chest x-ray is the 2D version, and a chest CAT scan where we have little slices is the 3D version. And it allows us to uncover things that are hidden behind other structures. It allows us to resolve issues where structures are overlapping and look like there might be something significant, but it's really just normal tissue overlapping each other. With one in eight women and one in a thousand men being diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime, mammograms are the best way to find breast cancer early when it's easier to treat. The 3D machines look fairly similar to the current 2D models, but offer a clearer, more precise picture of what's actually going on. Uh, there's two main benefits. One benefit is a better cancer detection rate. It's a small improvement, but it, it's real. Um, out of every thousand women, we expect to find one extra cancer, uh, maybe a year earlier than we did before, and that can make a difference. Uh, a bigger impact on just the everyday patients and you know, the every woman that comes in who doesn't have a breast cancer is that we're gonna cut our callback rate in half, probably. So right now, if a woman comes in for a mammogram, uh, there's about a 5%, 6% chance that we'll have to call her back for extra views. More than half the time, the reason we're calling her back is because of that overlap issue where there's normal glandular tissue that's overlapping and we just can't see through it. And so we have to call the woman up. She has a sleepless night, you know, waiting to have to come back in and we have to put her through extra compression, which is uncomfortable, to make everything spread apart. And we're gonna basically not have to do that. So now when we call a woman back, it's gonna be a lot less common. It's gonna be more likely that it really, you know, isn't just normal tissue that's uh, going to be a significant thing. The new 3D mammography machines will look and feel similar to the current 2D machines. The patient experience will not change. There's still compression, which is the piece most patients don't like. The screening process is the same, but the imaging will be clearer and more precise. I'm sorry to say you still have to get compressed. Most women say, this, I mean, I don't have to get compressed anymore because I, I know it's uncomfortable. And now they still have to get compressed in two different planes. But it's, um, the machine itself is just a little more softer. It's a little less harsh and edgy. And, and it's, just, it's been made a little bit more comfortable, but it's still going to be pretty much the same feeling to the woman. It's not a, that dramatic a difference there. Uh, but the images are going to be tremendously better and less likelihood of getting called back for, for views. The hospital plans to begin construction in December and aiming for unveiling the new machine in spring. Dr. Mitchell says it's important for the community to know that the new machine features the latest technology and lower radiation levels. We did not jump on the bandwagon to buy these 3D MAMO equipment when it first came out. The first generation of equipment for this was good but it had some issues and we waited for the newer generation and I'm really glad we did that. So this new generation of 3D equipment provides excellent images at a reduced radiation dose. So now with the 3D uh, equipment we can give a full three-dimensional mammogram at less radiation dose than anybody else in the region, frankly. Uh, we have, this will be the lowest radiation dose of any FDA approved system on the marketplace. Rutland Regional will invest in two 3D breast imaging machines with a goal to raise $350,000 to cover the cost of one of the machines. You can help to bring this technology to our region by heading to givingtuesday.org. The link is listed on your screen. By donating in support of the Early Detection Saves Lives campaign at Rutland Regional Medical Center. Community support will enable superior breast imaging and detection of abnormalities at an earlier stage, which can help save lives. Uh, this newer generation 3D tomography equipment is going to be the first in Vermont. 
and we will be the first community hospital in New England to install it.